Vox slash Verge Media or whatever. Copy striking people over a fail video they made last year. And it comes right back and bites them in the ass because they're still bitching about it. Stay tuned. The Verge. Crappy PC install backfires once again. So everyone has forgotten about the Kerbopo. Is that a word? Anyways, about the the Verge had a back had back last year with their how to build a PC video, which was so freaking bad. I mean, everyone's pretty much forgotten about it from putting thermal paste on top of thermal paste to making your RAM single channel, from drilling the wrong screws on the radiator cooler, and probably piercing the fins most likely, and no freaking CPU bracket. And if you think that's bad, I mean, they had one screw missing on the block on top of just three screws and one missing, which made no freaking sense. Just a shitload of horrible things on, on top of for uh, pretty much installing your computer. So, I mean, it, it's it's the new year. Everyone forgot about it. The Verge and Stefan fail. And the Verge does this on well, Vox, which is pretty much the same thing. Vox.com claiming copyright violations on people that made a video last freaking year. And I mean, this is uh, Kyle from Bitwiki's uh, YouTube. He got one and, you know, other YouTubers. I mean, what? I mean, claiming that Kyle's video is copyright, which no sh** it's not. It's just Vox Mia getting butthurt and salty, waiting for a couple of months to strike someone when they thought people would have forgotten by now. But YouTube isn't an old magazine website article. People don't forget in YouTube. And that sh backfires so bad on them. Big tech, big, big, it'll be big, big, blah, blah, blah. big tech YouTubers like Nexus. Yes. The dude with the, with the beach chair. Uh, yeah that guy paul's hardware and everyone else saw this cringe pc built video and i mean it's not a big deal you know oh vox you never learn from the time they spread so much fake articles like pewdiepie being a freaking nazi and uh crying about people making fun of their dilemma it's kind of ironic a tech company that doesn't know how to build a freaking computer they ended up finishing the claims, trying to turn the situation about a racial thing, which was not that. It was that a huge company with so so much money and resources, they couldn't make a simple how to build a PC video and failed miserably. So the sad part was that they could have just simply admitted they failed and things and called in someone like Linus and blah, 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 blah. So they just simply admitted and failed. And they could have just caught someone like, you know, for example, Linus in their videos, they show people how to build a PC and everyone could have been okay. Even Linus did this before when uh, breaking the iMac Pro monitor and and the stream and brought freaking Louis Rosman, you know, uh, I think Louis Rosman, sorry if I butchered his name, but a very well-known dude that pretty much repairs Macs and it all worked out. But these companies are exactly like old media news, work so hard on looking professional and can't admit they up so comedically, comedic, comedically, comedically, is, is that a word? I think I just made that word up. I mean, either way, it, it looks 10 times worse being caught trying to look like they didn't mess up, which obviously they did. So the moral of the story is if you f up, just be honest and you make yourself look like an idiot because you have so many freaking eyes. Someone's going to catch you slipping sooner or later. So this is Jose Grande, a.k.a. Chimaman. Like and subscribe. See you on the next video. Peace. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Eh? Yeah, that one.